How's it going my Hylians? It's your boy Linkachu back with another video. So tonight we're gonna be talking about something that Nintendo announced on Thursday or when or Wednesday, I think if I'm not wrong. Uh reacting and checking it out and I'll tell you what I think of it. Uh that is the Nintendo Labo. Uh that's probably why you clicked on the chat on this video, because the title. So uh let's get right into re me reacting to it. Okay, so I skipped ahead a little bit in the video. Um if you want to see the full video, uh, link is down in the description below. Also, a link to the website as well, which we'll be checking out in just a second after this video. So, uh, first, you, the slates of cardboard, um, popping it out. So, if you don't know, of course, it's made of cardboard. Um, uh, you probably already know, you just want to see my review and thoughts on it. Uh, put the switch into this piano, car cardboard piano, which is pretty cool, actually. Uh, it looks very well made. Um, house, which is kind of cool. I don't know exactly what it's all about, but uh, it looks like a cool kind of mini game. The robot, it's neat-ish, I think. I guess. Uh, it's kind of cool. I think all it does is just use the HD rumble and makes it vibrate. So yeah, that's interesting. And the piano is like very like regular. This is my. I think this is my favorite in the. Uh, First starter pack, that and the piano. Oh, well, I like them all. They're pretty cool. I, but I think this is probably has like the most potential. Um, this is the motorbike, which looks awesome. Um, like the handles just really give it away. And then the screen. That's just so cool. To me, at least. The fishing rod is really cool as well. And how the first time I've ever seen the Switch, like, instead of being like this, they're using it like this held like this but in this right here it's like this like in the motorbike that in the house it's like this on the piano it's like this this one you use it as the remote but on the fishing rod see like that which is kind of cool first time i've ever seen the switch be used that way personally My, probably some other game out there uses it like that this one's kind of weird and dumb, but it's cool using the AC Rumble, I'm pretty sure. This is probably my favorite. The thing is, it's a completely separate thing. Uh, and if you didn't notice, there is strings going to the handles that he has on his arm, which are connected to the back, and there's strings that go down to his legs, which he's attached to his feet. So that big box on the back, the backpack, like almost tracks how... Uh, how his legs and stuff move and all that. So it's really cool. And I feel like this could be its whole own self. I really like its own game, like more of a, less of a mini game, but more of a video game. Like the rest are probably mini games, but I feel like this is like a real game, like with levels and bosses and stuff. Let me keep going. See like that. And uh, the piano looks really cool. Uh, it looks like very accurate to an actual piano. I think it said 13 notes or something like that. 13 keys. This is cool though. Uh, instructions on the Switch. I feel like uh, it's like a more of a detailed uh, in Lego instruction manual. Like that. The problem is like sometimes like when I'm building Legos and stuff, I can't see the other side. But with this, uh, you can see that he's moving his finger around to see the different angles, which is really cool and a smart way to have instructions instead of a little booklet in, inside the box. Zoom in and zoom out and change the camera angle. Uh, yeah. So these are not have not been announced to be sold yet. The bird, this like car with the gas pedal as well. That, this one looks like insanely detailed. Like it's got like a key on the side or something. The handles, the gear shift, the gas pedal. That is crazy. Um, camera is a genius idea using the Joy-Cons camera. What is it? Hold on. Yeah, it's like this. They have it like this. So you would take a picture like this, and that would be like your picture, and this would be like the camera because this is an actual camera. I'm not sure what kind of camera, but it's a camera. Uh, the shotgun, or the pump action, looks like it really could be something on its own. This. This looks like it could be uh, its whole game. Like I would, I would love to just play a game where boom, Boom. Like it looks like the new Nintendo Zapper. Like this is the Wii one and this is the 
uh, one for the NES. Like it looks like it, this could this could be the Switch zapper. But yeah, moving on. Uh, whatever that was, I have no clue what that was. Not even sure what that is. I have not a clue, like, at all. So I guess we'll have to wait for that to be announced. This is cool though. More of that. Whatever this is, no idea. It kind of looks like a bow and arrow, but I don't think that's what it was. Like a drum set kind of thing. I think that's what it is. Now this is cool. This will be like an airplane game where you're like with the the joystick kind of thing. Is that what it is? Which is really cool. And look at how like the detail they put into cardboard. I've never seen like any cardboard use this detail. And I, I feel the word thing everyone's fearing is that how weak will the cardboard be? But nice thing is it must be like really well made for like us to be able to play with it. And I feel like in the future, Nintendo will come out with like repair packages and spare parts and uh, or like just you can buy everything separate on its own. See, there, there, there. This is what I mean. Uh, this is the piano one on the back and there's the Joy-Con and it's like shooting out a beam. And there's all these weird like reflective pieces on the keys, which is right here. You can see the reflective pieces on the key so I don't know I don't know and this is the inside of the arm and you can see here I think L on so left leg left arm uh, right arm and there's one more spot right there for right leg which is crazy cool like how detailed this thing is and look at it moves directly to his actions hold on sorry uh, went too far back this look at that boom he just punched it put out his right arm and it went up and his leg must be moving this is cool look at all look at how detailed this I feel like it's gonna take a lot of time to build some of these but uh, that's all right I think uh, I think it'll it'll mean a little bit more that you've built it yourself uh, the DIY aspect is pretty cool and it makes it even more if you like it's something you made like do you I don't really feel like the switches as much of mine as if I made that myself like I made a prop and it's like my favorite thing because I made it and the stickers and stuff look cool I don't think I'm that good to make something look this that good so yeah uh, that's pretty much it um, and it comes out on 420 so vape nation or not vape nation uh snoop dog day you know you guys know what i'm talking about uh yeah so 420 is actually not that far away it's well it's still three months but yeah and uh they come the two that are announced are these so let's go right to the website so here's the website uh so starting at $69.99, uh, so this one's $69.99, the variety kit, which comes with the two RC cars, uh, the fishing rod, the house, the motorbike, and the piano, which is pretty cool. And all the pieces here, all these. So there is a few spares, actually. Two, six spares of rubber bands and two spares of large rubber bands and small rubber bands. So there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, so let's go to the robot kit. And this is what I'm talking about. So it's even got the VR goggles. So one Joy-Con goes on your head and it's like you move it, your head and stuff, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I think it's really going to be something fun to build and uh, really fun to use. I really hope that it's not that breakable or anything. Also, this is cool as well. The there here's your stencil sheets and all that to make them custom. It's only ten bucks, which this here I'm gonna open up on a new page. Oops. Uh, which is really cool because if you can see, there's link eyes, Splatoon eyes. Don't recognize these ones, but I feel like they're from something. KK slider, uh, Isabel, some glasses, some random eyes. Toad, Bowser, Boo, Mario, Peach, and a Goomba. And there's Switch, Joy-Cons, the robot game, the fishing game, the house game, the motorbike game, and the piano game. 
whatever these are a metal a t-shirt a robot not sure what that is I think that's like the cardboard a sewer some like cat looking thing don't even know what that is oh I didn't realize that some of this was off screen sorry guys um yeah this cat looking thing and uh whatever the singing dude gold singing dude so yeah kind of cool uh so yeah so overall i think this thing has a lot of potential i'm really excited to get my hands on it uh i think i feel like this is what we've been waiting like this kind of potential for the switch and reggie said there's gonna we there's gonna be things that we can use this kind of stuff with this technology all that i'm pretty sure i remember reading somewhere that reggie quoted that or something i don't know but yeah uh, possibly like future used in future games like that would be crazy like can you imagine playing like a Metroid game with an actual Metroid arm cannon or a Zelda game with a cardboard Zelda sword like who wouldn't love to be swinging the master sword around and then swinging around in real time like real time and then it playing in the Zelda game that'd be crazy uh, I I can imagine some people are gonna walk around with this cardboard or something like some dudes gonna come up and uh, on like a train and he's gonna plop down his switch pull out this cardboard fishing rod and just start playing some fishing He's like yeah, like I think that'll be pretty funny I hope that it's made very well and all that and I think it's gonna be fun for everyone like I, I've never been this excited for cardboard. Uh, so yeah, I think this is a, a Very interesting but right step for Nintendo right now uh, they've been doing amazing, like, selling over 10 million Switches, uh, which is insane. I think, like, seven months, six, seven months, they said? 10 million Switches. That is amazing. Spectacular. So, yeah, and, and it surpassed Wii U already, like, by a long shot. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.